Uh, I realized I never actually recorded uh, the review session, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and put this together uh, really quickly so that you can uh, see how to go from Boolean functions to uh, ultimately equations. Uh, so uh, typically how we represent Boolean functions is just by the table, right? Instead of giving a rule, we'll just give you every single possible input that you could pass into the function and then just get, tell you what the output is for each of those. So let's say uh, our circuit is this here. So now you want to come up with an equation for that. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at all the rows where there's a one and where there's a one, you want to look at what A and B are. So we want to look right here at these two and look at whether or not it's zero or one. So if it's a zero, then the term for this is going to have not A, right? Because A is zero and B is also zero. So that'll be a not B. Uh, if we look at this one, we can see that we want to look at what these are here. So A in this case is a one. So here A is not going to be inverted. It's just going to be a normal one. And B here is zero. So we're also going to put not B. Since that's all of the rows with the one in them, uh, these are all the terms we need. And then we can just or these together. So we get not A, not B, or A, not B. And this will be our equation. So that's how you can go from a table to this. The reason that this is how you write the term is because if you think about it, what input, if you, if you just think about what's going on right here, right? And you look at just the expression, not A and not B, when is this going to be a one? Well, the way that and works is that both of the things, both of the inputs have to be a one, right? So let me, let me write this out a little bit more explicitly. So we have A, not A, and not B, right? So in order for this whole thing to be one, this thing has to be one and this thing has to be one. Well, if not A equals one, that means that A equals zero. And if not B is one, that means B is also equal to zero. So the only way for this thing here to be one is when A is zero and B is zero, which is exactly the case in this table. So what you're doing when you're creating the sum of min terms is you're saying, okay, well, in this table, if A is zero and B is zero, the output should be one. So I'm going to create this term right here, which is only ever one when A and B are both zero. And then I'm just going to or that with the terms for the rest of the places that I want them to be a, be a one. So every single time you're making a term, you're making a special little equation for just that row. And then if you or all these rows together, you'll ultimately end up with an e equation that expresses the full table. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what we covered in the review. I covered some more examples, but you can pretty much just replace this with absolutely any a set of inputs you want and you or any set of outputs and it's a valid example you can work on.